What's up everybody, it's your boy Corey. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out my Twitter. I will be posting more often. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I need to. Also, today's video's got a bit of a surprise. I wonder if you'll notice the difference. Let's get into the video. What's up everybody, it's your boy Corey. And what's this? Did he get a new mic? Yes, I did. It's probably the best thing I've bought in the last couple months and honestly I don't know why I took this long to get a mic uh, if you're wondering what mic I got it was the blue snowball ice I think it was it's 50 bucks actually it was like $45 honestly it's the best thing you need to get if you're trying to do YouTube I wish I just bought it when I started but I was Oh, I can get by with the headset that I have. It it records. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just bought this set in the very beginning. Um, if you're coming to this video just to watch the gameplay, uh, try a different video because I suck in this game. Actually, I suck all the way through the two games in this video. Like... All I do is maybe get a couple saves in these two games. I could not score for the life of me. I haven't played this game in three three months. Yeah, something like that. And when I left, half the people knew how to like really play the game. And the other half were, yeah, not so great. It seems like everyone that plays this game now is like a master and or gets really lucky but a lot of them know how to control the ball like what you just saw there he gets it up on top of his hood he bounces bounces it up above somebody i mean look at this when i do that it's because i get lucky and it rolls on top of my car i don't do that on purpose and like people can control their movement and flight it's just i'm so bad compared to most people that are playing this game now so yeah but today's news that i wanted to talk about is about the nintendo switch and while this is just a rumor it comes from the same source as the other day's video not yesterday two days ago laura dale and a lot of the stuff that she comes out with rumor wise has become true and she's trusted which I'm hoping she's trusted because the whole thing with the switch being underpowered and like not like a little bit like a lot especially portable this news kind of gives me hope especially if it's true it turns out that Assassin's Creed the next one whenever it comes out will come out on the switch at the same time as the PS4 and Xbox one releases which is amazing okay which means they're on the same deadline which means they have the same amount of time to develop which means they don't they don't have to dumb it down because if they had to dumb it down that would take even more time to develop and they would worry about the two main consoles first and then take time to dumb it down so I'm happy about that there is also news that it might not come out this year because they want to have one full year of alpha which I completely agree with the amount of bugs that have plagued these games in the last couple years they need to take all the time in the world to make sure they're not there God help them if they are still there even with all this time um, so like I'm hopeful Maybe it's not PS4 or Xbox One powerful. Probably definitely not PS4. But even if it's slightly worse than the Xbox One, that's still pretty good. Like, it's still usable. It's still competitive. While it's going to be way underpowered compared to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio, at least it has a chance. And see right there. I don't know why I didn't score that. I'm awful. This is what I'm talking about. If you came for the gameplay, leave now. You're wasting your time. But I'm really excited. Also, there's she came 
and said that THQ, which I thought shut down, but apparently it was picked up and is now THQ Nordic. They uh, made MT MX versus ATV Supercross. Um, they have three games that are apparently coming to Switch. None of them I recognize. Um, well, they acquired the rights, and these are the ones that supposedly are going to be the games that they bring. Um, they acquired the rights to Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, as well as turn-based strategy games, War Leaders, Clash of Nations, and Legends of War. So, not my type of games, but supposedly there will be sequels to them, and they will be on Nintendo Switch. Also, it has come out. Uh, Nintendo Switch will have ports of Stardew Valley. I've heard great things about it. It's not a game for me because I'm a FPS type of action adventure type gamer. I don't really care for those type of games. Um, I barely can deal with Pokemon and that's only because I really like Pokemon because I grew up with it. Also, a Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus will be on Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty sure that game's been out for quite a while, so that's not so impressive. Um, also, there's still rumors, and she's still getting reports that Dark Souls, the trilogy, will come out on to Nintendo Switch, which is great. Um, the Assassin's Creed game is called Assassin's Creed Empire, which is pretty cool it's supposed to be an Egyptian I know everybody's been dying for a Japanese you know samurai ninja type deal with Assassin's Creed I don't think they're ever gonna do it I think it's because people want it but in practice it probably isn't the best game um, I tried to see I tried to save it and yeah <laughs> it's really bad gameplay I, re I couldn't get anything better. I played for like an hour and I couldn't get anything better than this. It's sad. Um, but yeah, Assassin's Creed Empire. It's going to be an Egyptian setting. I hope it's decent. But I don't know. Like, I hope they take all the time in the world to make sure this game revitalize the whole game. Like, see, I saved that. That was probably my best play of the entire gameplay. Um, but I don't think anybody's actually going to play half those games I was talking about. I'm really excited about the Assassin's Creed game. Because I want the Nintendo Switch to be competitive. I don't want it to just be its own little thing. I want them to be competitive because they're making, they're making games for people that play all the systems so you're competing with Sony and Microsoft you just are they can say we're not but you are you make game consoles so you compete with other game console manufacturers and uh, the real problem so uh, not Sony the real problem Nintendo has isn't so much that they're underpowered it's that they're underpowered and they release second Okay, look at the Wii U. It released first, but only like a year before the Xbox One and PS4. Like, they need to put themselves on the same release schedule as Sony and Microsoft. They just need to. Like, they could get away with it before because they had Sega to compete with. And they always tended to be competitive. They weren't like super underpowered. I mean, they weren't the strongest console, but they were at least competitive. Now they're the s slowest, non-competitive pieces of shit in the last, I don't know, 15 years. I think N64 was really the last time they were competitive. I mean, the GameCube, but no one played the GameCube. So they really couldn't be competitive because they sold like, 20 million units by the time they gave up on it so like the n64 really is the last hurrah except for the wii who just got lucky um as rich of review tech usa always says 
they came out at the perfect time right before smartphones actually had enough power to have those casual games that everybody wanted and they had the gimmick with the Wii Sports that's what sold it and when it was no longer fun people just let it collect dust on their shelf and I just don't want to see Nintendo lose I just I want them to do well and if they don't start doing well soon they're not gonna be in this for too much longer but that's all I got for this video I'll see you guys in the next one Peace out.